Welcome back to this series of videos and I'm joined once again by the conduit king, Jake Hardcastle. And this one, Jake, is a request. We've been asked to make something that's called a bubble set or a swan neck, just like the one I've put in this piece of conduit here. I'll see if I already done the video then. It's one of those things that I tend to forget to do is record myself, but we're not challenging me in this series of videos, we're challenging you, Jake. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave a link for them in the description below. However, to make it a challenge, obviously, it can't be that hard, I've made one. I've upped the game because I've changed the conduit from 20 mil to 25 mil. Of course. Yeah, so you're up for the challenge, we're gonna put a bubble or a swan neck in here to a set dimension. You ready for it? I'm ready for it, let's go. Ooh, I recognize that skillfully made piece of conduit there. So that's the obstacle we're going over then, is it? That's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's about a 50 mil diameter flexible conduit there that I've set over or bridged over. And you're gonna to have to do the same. What's your first thing are you gonna do for me? Okay, so I'll bring my piece in. Oh, I think I made that piece for you. <laughs> and I'm gonna mark that in the center. Okay, so approximately to the center. And we're gonna do exactly the same as what we've got up here. So that's a, a meter long thereabouts. So approximately the center. And this is gonna be that first bend, is in that middle bend there, that sort of starting point. Right, so we'll mark that at 50. And you can see the lines on yours, Gary, where you've kicked that back. Ah, we're gonna end up with something similar. Right, okay, so we're gonna put this first bend put the in. first bend in. And we'll see where we are after that. So I've set the conduit bending machine up for you. I've put the correct size former in. Again, we've done a video on all the parts of a conduit bending machine. And there's your first mark. Now we're not worried, it's just gonna be approximately in the center of this one. This is yep, just, just approximately, position. Yep. So you're putting it there for your first bend. I'll help you by standing on it. Oh, you are strong. Okay. So, so we'll so, take so that back over. Very on gentle bend here. Okay. And this gap now here is gonna be this 50 mil. So if you drop the yep. pipe in there, we'll be able to see. Right. Is now, there any issues there? Yep, so if we, Keep that bend as it is and kick back there. You can see this will be a very long uh, swan neck. So to overcome that, we'll put more of a bend in there, make it more shorter as yours is. Ah, so the more bend you put in here, the closer these rebends, the legs coming back are obviously to that bend. So in this position here, to get that gap, we're actually gonna be bending it somewhere down here, aren't we? That's, That's right, be, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see what you've done there. So a little bit more bend. Take that back in, a little bit more. Okay, we'll have another look. So we'll be able to, to judge where we're going now. I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to match mine, it just needs to get over the yep. same style of obstacle. Are you happy with that one? Or do you see, want to put a little bit more in? Yeah, you see that can, that would still be, that would be much shorter than what it was previously, but I'm, I still want a bit more of a bend in there. Okay, so you can put a touch more yep. in. So again, it's a case, again, in the conduit bending machine, wrestle it back into its original position. And then a little bit more bend, okay. Yep, I'll be happy with that. So it goes onto the table and now it's crucial that we get it to clear that. Now, it doesn't have to sit dead on top of it, okay? We're happy for it just to clear it like it did before. Yep. But what's the technique you're now gonna use? So we're now gonna mark, strike it where it hits the table. So table just edge. confirm that again to me, strike it where it hits so the just, table. Yep. Ah, similar to when just we did the double set. That's right, yeah. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna strike them under here the points of which it will need folding backwards. That's right. Okay. So you can see those marks. Yep. Yep. Okay, yeah. So they're the points of which we're gonna come backwards. So we're in and through. Okay, so is it the same process as we did before where it's got a touch where it hits the form or is that the idea? That, that's right, yeah. So, so when we're in position, see. That's so our line on. running off the edge of the form and like that, just needs ah, to move right, in Okay, slightly. so that's the first thing. So we're gonna get it against the form and now it's crucial once again, like the set, that we have this running true. That's right, yeah. So make sure that is straight. Now, when you pull this one, is there anything, obviously how far are we gonna pull it is what I'm gonna suggest. Are we gonna be coming, and obviously against the original mark, there is another mark on here, isn't there? That's right, yeah. So this mark here, are we gonna be lining up effectively with this edge here with a rule to where we bend it back? We are, yeah. Right, okay, that's a little bit tricky. So we're now gonna need to bring that fixed rule in, aren't we, and work yeah. out 
whether we run parallel with the line that we haven't bent yet. So we're going to drop that one onto the line. And then you've got to see if those two run parallel with each other. Yep, so this is the tricky bit, but that looks... That doesn't look too bad, does it? So somewhere we're Somewhere good to me, Off actually. that line there to that one there. Yeah, yeah that does. That, nothing like being lucky, is there, Jake, sometimes? <laughs> and is it the same process again now when we reverse it? That's right, yeah. Okay, so we've got to try and bring the next bend in parallel to where that one was. Okay. We can already see it almost. So as I look here, yeah, you can already see that position. So we're yeah. using the mark again against the former. That's right, so. Let's see where that mark is. It's quite difficult for me it to is. see. It's round this side, Gary. Okay, so. that's probably why it's difficult for me to see. <laughs> Shall I come around and have a look? Of course it is. We've turned it around 180 degrees. So we're just running ah, the farm so again. Just, yeah, so people can see that mark. Yeah, so we've got that mark there. And that's going to run off the former. And we're looking to get these two legs yep, so parallel. I'm going to come around the other side so not everybody looks at our ton of junk we've got in the background, even though we can see some of your previous attempts down there. Conduit King, uh, get on the floor. Is that, are they mine or yours, Gary? <laughs> Possibly mine. So again, we're going to use that rule to, to, to parallel the two straightened legs up. That's yeah? right, yeah. Again, you're coming down the conduit straight. That's right. Just confirm that. Yeah. Got that straight now. You could do this by eye, couldn't you? You could try and pull the legs in by eye. You don't necessarily have to use the rules. You look worried. Nervous Jake coming up. making sure we're perfect. Do I need to stand on the other side or are you going to be all right? No, I'll be fine there, yeah. I've not got my extension bar, but I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, check out that video where I needed it. Right. So already we can see now from the camera side, that's close. Possibly if you pull the rule in, we might be able to see how those two are running against each other. How's that looking? Is it a little bit more or is it oh? Okay. I think, I think that's about bang on, to be honest. We'll see when we Whoa. take it over to the oh. table. I don't know if First I'm pulling. First time looking. Yeah, I don't know if I'm pulling for you here. <laughs> Moment of truth then. All right. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I, think, I think it's, uh, yeah, I oh, good thinking. I think that's a five out of 10. Maybe a strong six, actually. No, I dis disagree with myself there. I think that's a six out of 10. That's brilliant. So if we lay it flat, we can see it obviously run, hopefully horizontal with the table. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Are you pleased with that? Oh, perfect. Didn't get any better than that. First time. Okay. So Gary, bang on first time. <laughs> Let's talk about making those adjustments. Oh, I think you've mentioned that. Yeah. So yeah, now all of a sudden it won't always be bang on first time, but if you do use that technique where you use that rule, you could actually see quite clearly on the camera when I was standing there that you were in the same plane. They were parallel, yeah. but sometimes you have to add a bit and take a bit off. Can you just show us some bits that we yeah. could do with that? So if you don't get it first time like me, Gary, and you need to make some adjustment. So what you don't want to be doing so, so I'm effectively changing the bend here. Yeah. So by putting it that way, I'm taking out some of the bend. So maybe it was too big. Yeah. So the leg was beyond the table. I know the issue now is, isn't it, Jake, that you'll bend it here, here, and here. Exactly. And you end up chasing a mistake maybe up and down the conduit. So just bear that one in mind. Yeah. So how would you overcome so that? Don't want to be bending it out here like oh, you said. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, and again, you might need to use the arm on the bending machine, but I like you the way we're going to demonstrate that there. So all of a sudden now, as we look in here, you'd be bending it just here. That's right. You're only using this piece of conduit to bend. We should really not be doing anything to these bits. Yeah. So you'd be taking it out. And if you reversed it over, if we roll it over, yeah, you'd be adding some more in. So in other words, bringing those legs back up. Yeah. Another tip for you, if you find both your legs are in the same position, maybe they're a little bit too low or a little bit too high, you can adjust the middle bend, can't you? Yeah. So by adjusting that, you alter both leg positions at the same right. time. Like I said, I upped it from a five to a strong six out of 10. That's pretty impressive. And I think if you follow the technique that the Conduit King over here did, and you can clearly see your legs parallel, you'll probably find you're gonna be very close first time, yeah. won't you, Jake? As always, we're interested in your feedback because Jake likes to get back to all of that feedback. He's enjoyed every single comment up until this point that he's actually answered back. Please leave them below and any requests for anything else the Conduit King can do for you.